this episode, we'll talk about basic units of area and volume. And of course, about their conversions. In the SI system, a unit of area is a square meter. And a unit of volume is a cubic meter. Professor, I have a business proposal for you. Is it so necessary to interrupt me during the explanation? You break the whole logic of the lecture. You're fooling around. Take it easy. It's impossible to break something that doesn't exist at all. What I'm saying, let me play the role of the system. At least we will release our highly esteemed woman. It's so hard for her to run around in heels with your examples. I have an appropriate suit, by the way. <gasps> SI system. You better beware. You will be kicked out of here immediately. What are you doing? Have you fallen in love with her, or what? What does this have to do with it? Well, everything is clear now. What is so clear for you? You better watch yourself, and don't gossip in the university. Whoa, relationship is great, but it's time for us to convert. For those who have learned two rules from the previous episode well, there will be no problems for now. Rule number one. To convert any unit of area to square meters, you need to raise the appropriate prefix factor to the second power. And to convert any unit of volume to cubic meters, you need to raise the factor to the third power. Let's try to apply this rule by examples. Let's convert 4 square kilometers to square meters. We simply rewrite 4 and multiply it by the factor of the prefix kilo, that is 10 to the third power. Since the area is measured in square meters, we raise the factor to the second power. Knowing power rules we get 4 times 10 to the sixth power meters square. We do the same with units of volume. 0.2 cubic kilometers is to be converted to cubic meters. We rewrite 0.2 and multiply it by the factor of the prefix kilo, which we raise to the third power. We get 0.2 times 10 to the ninth power cubic meters. Convert 340 square centimeters into square meters. This means that 340 must be multiplied by the factor of the prefix centi. 10 to the negative 2 power, which must be squared. We get 340 times 10 to the negative 4th power, square meters. You can stop here, or you can continue and write down the equal sign and 0.034 square meters. Let's convert 25 cubic decimeters to cubic meters. This will be 25 times the factor of the prefix deci. 10 to the negative first power, which we will also raise to the third power. We get 25 times 10 to the negative third power cubic meters. This can be also written as 0 0.025 cubic meters. That's how quickly and unexpectedly we came to rule number two. Now we will convert square and cubic meters to other units of measurement. We'll do everything in the same way. The only thing we change is the sign of the factor's power to the opposite one. Square units are squared, and cubic units are cubed. What a great science. Convert 2005 square meters to square kilometers. We write 2005 without changes. Change the factor's power sign of the prefix kilo to the negative. Then we raise 10 to the negative third power to the second power. And we get 2005 times 10 to the negative sixth power, square kilometers. In standard form, this number will look like 2.005 times 10 to the negative third power square kilometers. Convert 130,000 cubic meters to cubic kilometers. 130,000 should be multiplied by 10 to the negative third power. We raise the factor to the third power. We get 130,000 times 10 to the negative ninth power cubic kilometers. And this can also be written in standard form. 1.3 times 10 to the negative fourth power cubic kilometers. Similarly, we convert square meters to square millimeters. We rewrite 1.03. We change the sign of factor's power to the opposite one and raise the factor to the second power. We get 1.03 times 10 to the sixth power square millimeters. Let's convert cubic meters to cubic centimeters. 0 0.006 times 10 to the sixth power. This is the factor of the prefix centi, with the changed sign of power, and then raised to a cube. In standard form, it will be 6 times 10 to the third power cubic centimeters. Professor, may I have you for a minute here? I've decided to quit. You accept my decision, won't you? My heart will remain with you nevertheless. Hiccupy, what were you expecting? Did you really think that this performance looks believable? Here I am. 
so beautiful. But you still see Hikipi everywhere. Oh, I'm ready to burst into tears. I can't bear this anymore. I've asked Hemi to put brighter makeup on me. Such a great plan is ruined. But that's okay. I'll find a new way to get rid of her. Meanwhile, let's imagine a situation that we suddenly need to convert, for example, square centimeters into square decimeters. Or cubic millimeters into cubic centimeters. If you find it difficult to make such a conversion directly at one step, you can do it in two steps. This will form rule number three. At first, you'll need to convert units to the SI system according to the first rule, and then to the other units according to the second rule. Let's try to convert 900 square millimeters to square decimeters. 900 we multiply by the factor of the prefix milli. That's 10 to the negative third power. Great, we have converted to meters. And now, according to the second rule, we multiply by the factor of the prefix deci with changing the sign of its power. This is 10 to the first power. And now we raise these factors to the second power. These will give us square decimeters. 900 times 10 to the negative fourth power square decimeters. Didn't understand how we'd got such power? Do watch this course from the very beginning and it will become clear at once. The received answer can be left in this form or it can be written in standard form. 9 times 10 to the negative second power. We do the same with units of volume, only the factors should be raised to the third power. Let's say that 0.054 cubic decimeters needs to be converted to cubic millimeters. We multiply 0.054 by the factor of the prefix deci, 10 to the negative 1 power. This will give us meters. And now we multiply by 10 to the power of 3, which is the factor of the prefix milli, with the changed sign of the power. Do not forget to raise both factors to the third power. So we get 10 to the sixth power. In standard form, it will be 5.4 times 10 to the fourth power cubic millimeters. Now try to train by yourself. The answers to these tasks, as usual, can be found by the link in the description. Good luck. See you in the next episode.